Video lecture three, uh, drawing covalent compounds. Uh, to, if we want to bond covalently, one of the first things that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to draw the Lewis dot diagram for each of the valence electrons. Remember, the Lewis dot diagram has to deal with the valence electrons of each of our um, each of our atoms. What we'll then do is let's take a look at fluorine. If we have seven valence electrons, and fluorine was seven valence electrons, what will happen is we can see that there is an opening here and an opening here for fluorine where they need. So what fluorine is going to do is fluorine is going to share those valence electrons. So they're sharing one pair, so this is a single bond. And we represent that by saying fluorine, and we'll put the other valence electrons around it, is bonded to this fluorine with its six valence electrons all by itself, and share the one pair of electrons. So let's take a look. Ammonia. Ammonia is NH3. So nitrogen it has five valence electrons and hydrogen. So we draw three hydrogen atoms. Now, hydrogen and nitrogen will share this bond, will share this pair of electrons, and then nitrogen will share with this hydrogen atom. So that means that nitrogen still has its two valence electrons all by itself. Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Let's take a look at the Lewis structure for pH3. Phosphorus, again, has five valence electrons, four, five, and hydrogen has one valence electron. So we'll see a sharing here, a sharing here, and a sharing here. This means that our Lewis structure will be phosphorus with its two valence electrons, single bonded to hydrogen, single bonded to hydrogen. Let's take a look at the Lewis structure for NF3. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. Fluorine has seven. And there's three fluorines. So we'll see a sharing of electrons here, a sharing of electrons here, and a sharing of electrons here. So NF3, nitrogen trifluoride, will have nitrogen in the middle, bonded to fluorine with its seven valence electrons, bonded to this fluorine with its valence electrons and fluorine with its valence electrons. Go ahead and pause the video lecture and try to draw the Lewis diagram for CCl4 or carbon tetrachloride. Uh, if you want to see if you want a step-by-step -step approach on how we did this, Hang out at the end of the video lecture, and we can take a look at it. So let's create molecules with multiple bonds. Remember, multiple bonds are our double or our triple bonds. So carbon dioxide. Carbon has four valence electrons, and oxygen has six. This is one of those reasons why we wanted to fill one side of this is one of the reasons why we wanted to fill one side of the atom before we doubled up. It doesn't help us so much if we were to draw oxygen with its six valence electrons like this, because we don't see those free pairs, those free electrons that are going to want to share. So carbon can share these, this electron with this electron, and now can also share this electron. 
So now here we have two pairs. This is our double bond. Changing colors here a little bit. Carbon will share this free electron with this and this electron with here. So now again we have two pairs. So we have a second double bond. So we'll represent carbon dioxide as carbon double bonded to oxygen. And again, we have to remember to include those two pairs of electrons. And on the other side, carbon double bonded to oxygen. Let's take a look at N2. Well, nitrogen has five valence electrons. So we'll draw nitrogen with five valence electrons. We'll share one, we'll share two, and we will share three. So now we have nitrogen with one, two, three, a triple bond with another nitrogen. If we want to take a look at carbon tetrachloride, carbon has four valence electrons and chlorine has seven. So carbon can share this valence electron with this chlorine atom. Now well, there's four chlorine atoms. So carbon will share here. Carbon will share here. And carbon can share here. So now we have carbon with the four bonds. Chlorine, 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 and the fourth, chlorine. 